though I've already figured out what happened here after running into Mr. Chui and his companions on my way here. I'm still a bit shocked when arriving at the scene. Complete annihilation within a radius of five miles, such large-scale output of internal power actually came from a person who had just reached the fourth level of the pre-celestial stage. The internal power is full of evil thoughts, which even surpass those of the heavenly evil sect, he fought against many people without having a disadvantage and even hurt those masters at the third and fourth levels of the pre-celestial stage. This messenger named Meng Zhang is pretty powerful. So is the messenger named Cheng Wan Yan who seems to be a celestial cultivator at the transmutation stage. The strength of this group of messengers from the immortal sky cannot be underestimated. I hear that they have been eliminating those who impersonate people from the immortal sky these days. Heh, yeah, that's interesting. Between them and Elder Moro I've been pursuing, I wonder who is the acknowledged cultivator from the immortal sky. The sun is shining in the sky, and she is from all directions. This group of messengers runs wild, it would be good if I could find them. The aura left behind by the previous messengers was mixed with ordinary peoples and was too thin to be traceable, perhaps because this messenger had just advanced to the fourth level of the pre-celestial stage and had a burst of internal power in full force. The aura left at the scene is very strong, which masks those of other masters. It is particularly obvious and enough to be traceable. Let me see where the so-called messenger is hiding. Elves with armor on heads, God comes through Chi. All kinds of miracles descend. Cabin by Bay Lake, northern suburb of Dongdu City. I've run this far. It should be enough. Beep it. I almost got myself killed for being pretentious. Fortunately, after such a commotion... I impress them more as a messenger. However, after this fight, I'm afraid masters at the fifth level of the pre-celestial stage from various sects will come forward when I appear as the messenger again next time. I'd better cease actions and hide for a while. Dense forest behind Dream House. Chinger? I'm here. Tell your master that my mother succeeded in fooling Ning Wan now, and his alibi is assured. Well, what happened to him back then? Even I heard the loud noise and Ming Wanao rushed over immediately. Something went wrong, but the process isn't important as long as the result is good. Anyway, the Dongdu government has a deeper impression of me, ahem, the messenger. Sure enough, there are after-effects when the process of my replication of the aura of heaven and earth is abruptly interrupted. The living weapon ceased to be effective. After I healed the wounds with the finger of Nirvana, my demonic power was stuck between the third level and the fourth level of the pre-celestial stage. Fortunately, there's already a part of demonic power at the fourth level of the pre-celestial stage in my body. Even though I have missed the chance to fully advance to level 4, I can still slowly convert the remaining level 3 internal power into level 4 demonic power. By the way, tell your master that to deal with Ming Wan now. My mother claimed to be Blue Joker and Shrimp Catcher in his name. She wanted him to get to know these two people quickly in case he showed flaws in front of Ming Wan now in the future. Okay. Master, Elder Gongsun, who pretended to be you, used other identities that turned out to be yours. Wait, what's going on? I had a hard time shedding my identity as an author of erotic novels. Why did Elder Gongsun use those names again? The situation was complicated, she had no other way. So please don't blame Elder Gongsun, she was forced to do so. Um, fine. Elder Gongsun is worthy of being the diplomat in the Maching sect, she's so silver-tongued. All in all, my mother has completed the mission successfully. Your master has been cleared of suspicion. Thanks to the help of you and your mother this time. We are friends. No need to thank me. Hurry and go to South Temple to report on your errand to Master Ching Jing. And remember to keep Blue Joker and Shrimp Catcher in mind. My mother has made a good impression on Ming Wan now in your place. You need to maintain your image on your own from now on. Ha ha ha. I'm so grateful to her. Humph? What's going on? Why did the system panel suddenly flash? Emperian fairy, please empower me at once. Spin. Boom. The aura is strong enough, but he can't be tracked down. Could it be that the man died after using this move? That's impossible. There is no sign of the residual internal power of a dead man at the pre-celestial stage at the scene. This is the first time I've seen this kind of feedback from the divination. Could it be that the messenger of the immortal sky can conceal his whereabouts? Meanwhile, on the other side. Mr. Yu, you're not hurt, right? Yeah, I'm fine, it's just. Elder Xiang and Elder Gua seem to be injured by that arrogant man's internal power. 
Don't worry, Mr. Yu, we're not seriously injured. But this kind of internal power is very strange. It erodes our minds and bodies at the same time, making it difficult for us to circulate internal power smoothly. We can still suppress it using all our techniques. But this kind of internal power seems to be attached to the bones. We don't know about that man's cultivation method, so we can't get rid of it quickly. In addition to evil thoughts, this strange demonic power seems to arouse other desires, causing your physical and mental disorders and the poor operation of cultivation methods. You too protect your hearts and meridians with internal power, keep meditating and calming your mind. This is not to be born. How could so many people let that thug run wild? Hong Yu, what do you want to do? That guy could be as powerful as he was just now. He either took drugs or used some forbidden technique. It's impossible to have no after effects. Now is the best time for us to go after and kill him. Elder Chui, you can't. That messenger is so weird that reading his mind with common sense is hard. Don't delve deeper into it. He broke into our sex manor and destroyed the whole woodland in front of everyone. How can we accept to be humiliated? I understand what you're thinking, but there's no need. We can't go after him just in case of his scheme. Besides, although we escaped, didn't those from the Rosefinch Temple, the sect, and Flora sect also escape? The messenger wreaks havoc in Dongdu's city without being brought to justice for a long time. The view sect and Flora sect should feel disgraced. We're the victims. Grandpa is coming. Let's leave the messenger to him. We just need to make sure he doesn't have any other worries before he gets here. Meanwhile, on the other side. This evil internal power is too weird. It has been eroding my body and mind, affecting the efficiency of using my techniques. I'm afraid it can't be eliminated completely in a short time. Fortunately, Miss Lien is wearing the hidden heart hairpin that can help us alleviate some of our mental torture. Stop talking and use your technique. Although mental oppression can be alleviated, physical oppression is not bearable. Three masters, are you alright? Yes, the Buddhist cultivation method can subdue this kind of evil internal power. But I'm ashamed to say that, it was our fault that we were not highly skilled at it, and couldn't stop that arrogant man from exploding himself. Exploding himself, as expected, you also saw it through, this man seemed to have used the extremely delicate trinity manifestation, but in fact, he only got hurt when he directly blew his manifestation up to hurt others, it was just unbelievable that his internal power was so abundant that he could create such a huge momentum. But what makes me feel strange is that ordinary people at the pre-celestial stage would basically run out of internal power after exploding themselves like this once. Even some masters who were famous for refining qi could damage their cultivation base after exploding themselves like that for two or three times. How did that man explode himself so many times in a row? He either used some forbidden techniques or took some powerful medicine. There must be after effects. It has completely quieted down over there. And he must be exhausted. Why don't we ask those at the pre-celestial stage who are not seriously injured to go back and kill that man together when he is weak? Huh. Master Kongao has a point, but this guy just reached the fourth level of the pre-celestial stage, and then pushed us to such a point, who knows if he has any other plans, if he's waiting for us to go back. I see. At this point, the safest way is to go back and ask for help from someone at the fifth level of the pre-celestial stage, we'll report this to our sect leader and let her come to guard Dongdu's city in advance. Amitba, Miss Luo is right, we're also going back to South Temple to report this to Qingjing. I still think Xie Yen has something to do with this. Chilo? He has disappeared in the last few days. It's pretty suspicious. And it was when he disappeared that the messenger began to take action. Chilo, are you out of your mind? Are you sure Xie Yen is that strong? Impossible. Miss Lian, you don't trust Qing Jing? Although Mr. Xie is from a demon sect, he is definitely not that kind of person. Of course, I trust Master Qing Jing. I just don't trust Xie Yen. With Xie Yan's cunning, he may have the means to deceive Master Ching Jing. Xie Yan just drank and chatted with me in the dream house. How could he come here to beat you guys at the same time? Miss Lian, don't say that to cloud my judgment. The following afternoon. Thank you for taking care of me. I'll take my leave first. My sister is slow-witted. I hope you can guide her along a bit more. Thank you. Don't worry, Mr. Xie. Your sister is destined to be connected with me. I should try my best to look after her. You're the one who is slow-witted. I have Ming Wandao's testimony, and to others, I'm still at the third level of the pre-celestial stage, so there is a level difference between me and the messenger. Now I should be completely cleared of suspicion, 
and Master Qingjing just let me go, he's such a nice guy. It's just that it increases the workload for the master, he is already busy, and now in addition to taking care of Ran, he also needs to be on guard against the messenger who has just reached the fourth level of the pre-celestial stage, ahem. However, that's not my concern, after I go back, I need to cultivate in seclusion for a while and completely convert the remaining demonic power into the power at the fourth level of the pre-celestial stage, otherwise, I will be flustered. Now I should meet with Elder Gong Sun and figure out what to do next. I must ask her why she used my pen name. Dusk. Afterglow Valley of the Heavenly Evil Sect in the northern suburbs of Dongdu City. It will take Guo Changi and Xiang Wu a long time to completely get rid of the alien internal power in their bodies alone. I'll let disciples of the internal power branch set the boiling demon formation to assist them, which can greatly speed up the process. I'll leave everything to you, Elder Chui. Make sure to cure the two elders before my grandpa comes. Don't worry, Mr. Yu. With the assistance of these disciples, they should be able to recover soon at noon tomorrow or later in the afternoon. Emerge. He. Sure enough, to completely get rid of that kind of internal power, he needed to enter the deepest meditation without noticing the changes around him and become least reactive to the outside world. A man at the third level of the pre-celestial stage with no power to defend himself is like a rare delicacy. By accident, the messenger of the immortal sky helped me get the benefit in the end. Rap. Struggle. Tremble. Thirty minutes later, shrink. It's my first time to devour someone at the third level of the pre-celestial stage. What a great tonic. Good. I didn't alert others outside. I shall go find the next target. The branch of Flora sect in Dongdu City. What, Elder Sin has advanced to the fourth level of the pre-celestial stage? I didn't expect her injury to be both a blessing and a curse. Wow, someone's leveled up. It's Elder Sin. Why could Elder Sin level up after getting injured? Our master is still in closed-door cultivation to recuperate. Maybe our master will level up in a while. Sure enough, the taste of women is more wonderful than that of men. But, Sin Mosui actually leveled up? I have to give up such a delicacy. Ming Wanao is in view sect. It's too risky to go there. The three monks of Rosefinch Temple are not injured. Looks like this is the end of my feast. Then I'll do one last thing. Elder Gongsun's residence. Not home? Yes, Miss Gongsun had a conflict with the manager of a restaurant run by her because of the change of ownership. She went out with Mr. Gongsun at dusk. Miss Gongsun has told me that if you come, Please go to the guest room and have a rest. She will be back soon, this way, please. Thank you. I've basically reached the beginner's level of house cultivation method of sucking all evil thoughts. Even if I don't put more effort into it, I can reach level 3 of the pre-celestial stage in a few days. I guess it will just be a matter of time before Ran resolves inner conflicts with Master Qingjing's guidance. If there's anything else left unresolved, it should be the fake Elder Moro. But he's determined to hide and only Ji Yuntao has a way to continue to track him down, I should either wait for Ji Yuntao to contact me or wait for the news of a seven. Well, no need to rush it. Humph? Show yourself. What a keen perception. You're indeed not just at the third level of the pre-celestial stage as you seem to be. It's you, fake Elder Moro. Oh? Fake Elder Moro, how do you know I'm a fake? Of course, that group of messengers has been eliminating fake ones in the entire Dongdu city. What's more, you, the fake Elder Moro, were chased by Ji Yuntao who was at the third of the pre-celestial stage from the Han Empire to the Tang Empire, and you had no strength to fight back at all. How can you be the leader of the Immortal Sky? Beep, I've been calling him the fake Elder Moro in my mind, so I accidentally said it directly. Ji Yuntao is the reincarnation of Polaris, and is favored by luck. I can't afford to be his enemy. I just avoided conflict with him. Good point, I believe it. I trust your opinion too. I don't care if you believe me or not. Why did you sneak into Elder Gongsun's residence? You misunderstood me. I'm here specially for you. What do you mean? No hurry. This is the second time I have seen you, right? What should I call you? Should I call you Xie Yen, the charming jade child? Or Shangguan Yen and Shangguan Yao? Or Meng Zhang, the evil azure dragon? Or Xilan Wei, the evil sword goddess? This guy is with Ji Jinya. I only used Shilan Wei's nickname Evil Sword Goddess in front of Zhou Yenting, but he is already dead, 
Could he somehow share information about me with Ji Jinya, who might be his true identity? Now it makes sense. Ji Jinya used this fake elder Moro as bait Talmacron lured the real one and the true immortal sky. I just wondered why there was a fake at the fourth level of the pre-celestial stage out of nowhere. Both Ji Jinya and Zhou Yanping are experts in using clones. The act elder Gong Sun and I put on managed to fool the folks in the Dongdu government. But obviously, it couldn't completely convince this fake elder Moro. This guy must have learned about my connection with the messengers from the Dongdu government. In his eyes, if these messengers are believed to be the same person, there's no reason why evil sword goddess should be an exception. Now things have become a bit complicated. The so-called messengers must be part of the top brass, right? It seems that the vast immortal sky is actually controlled by the same person. With your power, you've been constantly switching identities and stirring up trouble not just to evade attention but also to portray a powerful image of the immortal sky. Am I right, Xie Yen? Quite impressive deductive skills he has, he guessed it all correctly, but what a pity. Perhaps even that so-called Elder Moro at the multi-celestial stage is simply you all alone. Excuse me, please hold on for a sec since I arrived in Dongdu City. Someone accused me of being the messenger, some claimed that I was the lady killer, and now you came out of nowhere, trying to put the blame on me. Is this never-ending? He's just bluffing. Even if the Dongdu government has suspicions about me, who do you think you are? You were chased by Ji Yutao from the Han Empire to the Tang Empire, hiding like a notorious rat and sneaking around, and yet you have the nerve to interrogate me? He talked so much in my presence, which actually proved that he wasn't sure about the connection between me and the messengers. If not, he wouldn't have taken the risk to come here and sound me out, he would have just summoned Ji Jinya and taken me away. As for his mention of Evil Sword Goddess, it's probably just an attempt to see if I would reveal any weaknesses. After all, I might have stayed composed if he only talked about the connection between me and the messengers because the Dongdu government has done a lot. Unfortunately for you, I'm never afraid of any difficulty. You've picked the wrong guy to intimidate. Xia Yen, no matter how hard you are trying to deny it. All right, I get it. You all want to find the messengers, don't you? Just go ahead and keep searching for them. You can put aside important matters, good or bad, but only focus on analyzing every passerby, wondering which is Shangguan Yao or Shangguan Yen, or even waste so much time speculating whether Yen Bahuang is male or female. Now you're out of your mind and come to me asking, are you the messenger? Well, I'm sorry, but I can't be of any help. Why don't you go report it to the authorities? So you're not afraid that I might expose it to the Dongdu government? Go ahead, just do it. If you don't, you're nothing but a coward. I've even come up with a perfect headline for you. Elder Moro comes forward, shocking the world with the unveiling of the secrets of Charming Jade Child. Well then, let's wait and see. Sure, let's just wait and see. Goodbye. But remember, if you ever try to threaten me, it's best to have all the facts straight before coming. Don't just believe everything you hear, my fake Elder Moro. I've been deliberately trying to provoke him, but he hasn't provided any origin points of emotions. It's hard to determine his identity now. By the way, what's the theory of this? Just like that fake Zhou Yanping in the Xilan treasury who didn't provide me with any origin points, while the real one was quite generous in that regard. Aren't you going to stop me? Are you kidding me? You're at the fourth level of the pre-celestial stage, while I am only at the third our grudge, if any, is nothing more than your ramblings in front of me right now. I'll just consider you to have lost your mind. Why should I risk fighting you? If you were weaker than me, I could just have finished you easily. Furthermore, I am neither a righteous person like Ji Yuntown nor associated with the Dongdu government. I am just a disciple of an evil sect in the Han Empire. Even if you were to overthrow the emperor of the Tang Empire, it wouldn't concern me. Or do you believe that disciples of an evil sect still hold on to notions of justice, with no tolerance for evil and seeking to bring it to justice? If it wasn't for Ji Yuntao's sake, I wouldn't have bothered to intervene, and you should be grateful that you managed to escape in the end. Although it wasn't my intention, from this perspective, it seems that I have done you a favor. Huh, do you think you can sound me out with your limited skills? I never put myself in the shoes of the criminals taking action at this moment would be nothing but a clear sign of confession and guilt. Is this how you treat someone who has helped you? You've got a sharp tongue, Mr. Sia. Blasphemous slaughter, bloody evil rod. But I wonder if your skills are equally impressive as your tongue. 
If you wanted to fight, you should have said so earlier instead of wasting my time with all your talk. Do you really think that I haven't taken action because I'm afraid of you? Ha ha, if it was a few days ago, I might have had a hard time defeating you, but unfortunately, there was an incident. It was you who gave me a chance to get my power to the next level, and now, you have fallen right into my trap. Blasphemous slaughter, so locking threads of the underworld. Finger of flowery swords, withering strike. It's useless, why don't you use that move, the technique of bursting internal power? Finger of flowery swords, bend at will. You know which technique I'm talking about, hurry up and use it. Screw you, stop blabbering. Looks like I've underestimated the power of the finger of flowery swords. What the hell is the technique of bursting internal power? You. All right, what are you going to do next? Are you going to activate your mysterious undying burst by the fatal wound? Or will you resort to your self-sacrificing clone technique? But either way, none of these techniques should belong to charming jade child from Machin sect. Your. Beep beep insane. Your heart has been pierced, yet you don't die. Instead, you even unleash stronger power. With no trace of internal power, you have physical strength comparable to that of someone at the fourth level of the pre-celestial stage. It all matches. Do you still say that you're not evil sword goddess? Xia Yen, you've revealed yourself. Screw you. Open your damned eyes and see where you are right now. You. Wait. An illusion. Since when? I've told you I'm not some damned messenger. I don't want to get into a meaningless fight with you. Why the beep can't you understand it?